Well, we're excited about getting the season started. Um, Auburn is the only team in the SEC that will open up against a top 25 opponent. And we're going to try to make history tomorrow night uh, as we've never beaten a top 25 team uh, in an opener. Um, and, uh, you know, people ask me why the game, why would you take the game, why go all the way to South Dakota? It's just real simple just to try to stay relevant in the world of college basketball, which is harder and harder to do now. Um, and uh, so, I'm, you know, just um, Baylor is a preseason top 20 team. Um, we're not. Uh, Baylor has three guys that have been selected to various forms of like all Big 12 stuff. And, uh, and we have one in Janai Broom. Um, Jacoby Waters is the preseason freshman of the year. Um, and so, anyways, really good team, uh, really well coached. Scott Drew and the job that he's done at Baylor, um, arguably, is as good a job as has been done in college basketball, kind of considering what he inherited and uh, where they're at right now. I think in, uh, in 16 years, I think he's, uh, yeah, 16 years, he's been to 11 tournaments. So uh, they've been really good. They've been really consistent. Um, the challenges going in, obviously, are uh, the big, biggest challenge right now is we have no tape on them. We got no, uh, no eyes on them um, from a standpoint of they had two private exhibitions and had agreements to not exchange film. And so uh, we're basically basing what we saw off of what they've done historically. So that'll be a, an interesting challenge early in that game to see how they're playing differently. We're excited about getting started. Is there, do you still feel confident in both uh, Aiden and Janai being able to play tomorrow? Yep, I think both Aiden and Janai will be able to play tomorrow. After going back and, and, <clears throat> and watching the team now, where, where do you feel like you guys have, have shown the most improvement in the preseason heading into kind of season open? Well, you know, again, it, it'll be really hard to duplicate Baylor's athleticism. Uh, they are historically one of the top 20 rebounding teams in the country, one of the top 10 offensive rebounding teams in the country. So they will fly to the boards. They're, they're athletic, they're big, they're physical. Um, and our greatest challenge will be keeping them off the boards. Um, I think from our standpoint, I'd say our half-court offensive execution has been pretty good for early in the season. We've, we've shot the ball pretty well. And uh, now the quality of the opponent is going to step up in a huge way. Um, and then, you know, our challenges continue to be defense and rebounding, and we'll just see what, you know, kind of what that looks like. But that's what I would anticipate our two biggest challenges being. Uh, yes, Bruce, you mentioned that you have no tape on them. Did that mean that you were a little bit careful against AUM and showing too much um, to try to keep them from not knowing as much about you as, as you don't know about them? Um, yeah, I mean, I was, I was anticipating that we'd get one of their games and they'd get one of our games. So... Um, cause I mean, after today, everybody will have a game, but, um, they, uh, they didn't want to do it. So we obviously didn't do it. Um, you know, there is an NABC film exchange policy that encourages you to do it, but, uh, it's not an NCAA rule. So, um, we're good with it, but it does mean that both teams go in really with no, with really with very little scouting ability. Hey, Bruce, um, obviously you want to win the game, but with, with so many new players going against a team like Baylor, what are you curious to learn about your team? Like, what are some things that you're really interested to see how they, you know, react? Yeah, um, that's a great point. And it's one of the things I keep talking to our team about is um, we're going we're gonna to get exposed. I would have loved to have gotten more exposed in, the, in our preseason, a couple of preseason opportunities. And what I mean by exposed is, what aren't we very good at? You know, what are we gonna struggle with? And my anticipation would be physicality or the rebounding. Um, you know, some other things that I don't wanna give Baylor too much in advance scout on. Um, um, 
but where do we go from here? Like, in other words, great opportunity to play a team in the top 25. We're not. And so can we get ourselves in there with a win? You know, that'd be tremendous way to start the season. Um, it's, we've got so many quality opponents in the preseason that, you know, a week from now we play Notre Dame in New York, in Brooklyn. So, you know, it's here. And so how quickly can we adjust? Um, you know, I told the guys I wanted them, I really wanted them to, to remain really positive with each other because we have so much teaching to do with so many new guys. And so, again, um, we've got to kind of throw it out there and know they're going to be in the heat of the battle and just see how they react. Um, hey, man, for most of them, it's going to, I hope, brings out the best in them. Uh, for some, there'll be challenges and kind of knowing what we do and why we do it and late game situations. I mean, we could have, we could have a, you know, some late game, close game situations, I hope, either offensively, defensively. How do we handle those situations? How are we able to execute? So um, bottom line, no matter what, we need to grow and we need to keep getting better. And that's what I've talked to the guys about. And I think they're prepared for that. And I, again, I want them to stay really positive with each other because I'll, be I'll be on their asses enough for everybody. You just mentioned you have three of y'all's first four games away from home. I know you said you gave the team some time off. Was that as beneficial as you as you wanted it to be? I thought the two days off on on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, actually, it was uh, Friday, Thursday and Friday. They had Thursday and Friday off. We're good. I thought they were good. We went we went pretty good Saturday and Sunday in preparation. So, yeah, I mean it was it was one more day than normal, and I just thought I do th think it was fresh. Uh, it did let Aiden and, and um, Janai have an extra day of rehab and, and recovery. And uh, then they were both able to go yesterday. Bruce, uh, I know this is still kind of a new team to you in a sense. I mean, you haven't played a bunch of games with them. What is this, uh, this team's personality like in the locker room? What's their constitution like compared to some of your other teams you've had? Can you get a feel for that yet? Yeah, I mean, I mean, they get along. I mean, they, they really get along, and they've done a good job pushing each other and a good job teaching each other. And uh, it's been it's one of the one of the harder working teams I've had. It's been a team that's gotten along so well, but we have had no adversity yet. We just haven't. So you just obviously don't really know. Um, I, I mean, look, I think they, uh, I think they're, I definitely think they're prepared. And um, you know we've got we've got good leaders in the locker room. We've got we've got guys that have been there and done that. They've just not played together much. Let's just say they've played two games together so far. Now Baylor's got a lot of new guys too. They've got some core guys back like we do, but they've got some new pieces and they've got good new pieces. Um, so I think both teams are going to learn a lot. As you've brought. A, um Excuse me, it, uh, Aiden Holloway back. The, what has been the process of kind of getting him both healthy, but also to prepare him to face a historically really good defensive team in his first college game? I mean, yeah, it's it's probably the the toughest uh, the toughest first game will be for Aiden because this will be his first game because he didn't play in the first two uh, exhibition games, and so uh, well he did, but he played two minutes against Firm against the uh, you know Furman. So this is going to be the, you know, this is, you talk about, you know, putting him in a, in a tough spot. But look, he's, he's born to be in a tough spot. This is what he relishes. And so um, um, he's excited about playing and his teammates are excited about having him be out there. Uh, yes, Bruce, I believe uh, Wednesday's the start of the early signing period, and you mentioned in your opening about being relevant and playing teams like Baylor. Yeah. How do you feel about how your recruiting is going so far and how things are lining up for the future there? Well, you know, we would like to try to sign one or two high school guys in the fall if we can. Um, and, and so if we do, that'll be, that'll be great. Um, but I think that with the transfer portal and things like that, I think it's you're not going to see more than a couple of high school guys early ever just because of uh, um, how important it is to still get old and stay old if you can. And I think, we, I think this roster still could. So it'll be quality, hopefully. And it, but it will be hopefully quality, but it won't be quantity. Cool.